In this video, I'm going to show how to download DocHub and use it to annotate PDFs and then download them again uh, so that you can send them to your teacher. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to click on the Apps tab in your Google Chrome browser and it will bring up this window. Any apps that you already have here will should be showing up, but we're going to want to go to the web store. You're going to want to look for DocHub. And DocHub is an app. So we're going to, I've already downloaded it, but you can add it to your Chrome once that you have, have added it to as an app in your computer. You can just click the Add to Chrome button, and it'll take a minute. And then you'll need to do some permissions to be able to allow it to uh, use your Google Drive and things like that. Now, once you have those apps, then you can click on apps at any time, and you can use DocHub. So I'm going to click on DocHub right here. It's in my apps. And all it does is it links me to this web page, and I need to log in. You can log in this way, or if you have a Google, uh, Google email address or a school email address that is tied to Google, you could sign in with Google, and by clicking that, it will allow you to log in. And to use it, all you need to do is click on New, and I'm going to import a new document. So I'm just going to go to my computer. You can use ones that are already on your Google Drive already but I'm just going to pull one from my computer, or you can actually add one from a URL if you do have the URL. Uh, I'm going to add a sample PDF from my computer, and then what it will open up is it will open up in DocHub. And DocHub allows me to do a few different things. I have a pointer tool. Uh, I have a text tool, so when I bring, bring the text tool up, it allows me to create a box, and I can write in that box and annotate that PDF that way. Uh, I can also do some different circles, uh, rectangles, uh, but those require the pro version, so you'd have to pay for it. There is a highlighter tool, so I can also highlight my notes if I need to highlight things here. And erasing is pretty, pretty easy. By clicking on the eraser and then clicking on anything that you have typed, it will remove that for you. So I can go up here and click it and now that it's gone. Uh, it also has some check marks and some different stamps that you can use here, and you can insert an image. So you can insert an image on top of your uh, document as well. Now once you have edited your document, you want to get that document out so that you can send that to your teacher. You go over to the left hand side here to the three lines, click on the down arrow, and go to download and you can export it to your google drive so that you have a copy for yourself or you can download it as a pdf so that you can upload either way works uh, downloading to your google drive is probably what i would recommend so that you have a copy in your google drive that you can easily get back to so i'm going to click on that and it will ask me for permission to be able to access my google drive i will allow that and now DocHub is saving that document were in whatever folder that I choose to save it in. So um, I have to pick a folder. So it'd be a good idea to have a folder that you are already ready to put uh, those documents in, create that in your Google Drive so you can find that folder and easily drop that information right into, uh, into your folder so that you can pull it out later and you know where it is. So this is DocHub. It's a very easy tool to use and it will allow you to annotate PDFs and be able to save those and be able to upload those again to teachers or anybody else that you need to send a PDF to.